guys, so today I have a little guest. Little baby. I am going to be doing the furry friend tag. Question number one. What is your name? Don't look your butt on camera. My pet's name is Kava. K-A-V-A. Where that name came from, and yes, I have another dog. I know you guys have seen him. His name's Kona, K-O-N-A. I love him just as much, but this dog is specifically mine. I said don't lick yourself. Um, this dog is specifically mine, and um, a lot of you guys like seeing him a lot, so I thought I'd do the video with you, and then I can do another one with my other dog if you would like to. Um... But so your name came from, so we got my bigger dog first, and then we got him, and our bigger dog decided to name him Kona Kava. But, like, as his middle name being Kava, but then when we got little you, we couldn't think of a name, so we just took my big dog's middle name. What kind of pet is it, and what breed? It is a dog. He is a dog, and he is a cool little puppy. Okay, I know his face is kind of ugly. Um, not, like, ugly, but, like stuff's disgusting but so he is a sorry if this is like really awkward kind of video i'm just trying to get him in the frame what kind of puppy are you you are a multi poodle bichon shih tzu little bit of mix of everything but i call him a maltese this is really awkward would you please sit up how long have you had your pet friend <laughs> that sounds really weird I think I've had him for two or three years. How did you get your pet? Okay, this is gonna be a super long story. So, I wanted a small dog, like, forever. And my dad doesn't like small dogs, but he likes them. Anyways, my hair is freaking in the way. And I had been wanting to get a dog for such, a small dog for such a long time. And long story behind it, but for another reason, for a reason, which I don't really feel like explaining. We could not, oh my gosh, freaking little hair. We could not get a dog until the end of summer. So I waited and waited and I'd, you know, look up on petfinder.com. And then one day when we had gotten the okay to get a dog, it was early, like I think Saturday morning. And me and my friend woke up and we were like looking at, um, animals online to go look at this dog named Cotton and he was a little Maltese as well and so we went and we looked at him he was a really good dog we really liked him okay and then we said okay we're gonna show my mom because she was at work we're gonna show him pictures and stuff and then we'll come back can you hold the dog well, no, we can't do that, blah, blah, blah. So they couldn't do it. So right when my mom got home from work, we all got in the car, and my friend had left by this time. And um, we had went and looked at the dog. We were looking, you know, to buy it or adopt it or whatever you want to call it. Um, she was an old lady with a cast on her foot, like a permanent kind of cast. She's like, oh, and you can come over and visit. I'm like, no, I'm not going to your house. That is creepy. I'm not going to go visit you and the dog I wanted. So, and the people, like, would have, if they had the power, they would have given the dog to me. They're like, she was not the right owner, but we can't, you know, do anything about it. So, we gave my business card to my, my dad's business card to the woman in the puppy area. And she said that she will call us. Even before the dog gets out on the floor, when they have, you know, when we gave her the kind of dog we need, or we, not need, but we wanted, and like the specific, the specifications, because, like, my brother and I have asthma, so we can't have dogs that shed, blah, blah, blah. So, a couple days later, we got a call. Not on the floor yet, he hasn't given a bath, he hasn't gotten shots, but I just wanted to tell you. So, we automatically got in the car and went over there. So we ended up getting him a he is the perfect puppy. Most of the time. Number five is how old is your pet? Now, I'm not sure exactly, like I said, how long we've had him, but when we got him, he was like one and a half, I wanna say, or two. 
So he's probably about four. What are quirky things about your pet's personality? He loves to, like, jump on you. Not jump on you, but, like, when he gets... He has, like, little mood spasms. So, like, sometimes when he's really hyper, he will literally come up the stairs and run into my room, spin around, run back, and do it, like, ten times just down our hallway. And you can't stop him. Like, it is... Crazy. Like, I don't know what gets in him. And then, once he's done, he just comes, like, when he's on his last lap, he comes, jumps up, and jumps my bed, and just curls up. Like, I don't know what's wrong with him. Like, he's a spaz. But also, when he gets in his other little moods, he will, like, if you're sitting on the couch or something, he will come up, jump on you, put his little paws, like, right here, and then start licking your face, like, uncontrollably. Like, he won't stop. It's actually kind of cute, but it's a little annoying sometimes. Um... What else? He doesn't like his tail to be touched. I think when he was, um, the people who had him before, maybe they like, kicked him or something, because he also is a little weird with feet. Aren't you bubbas? But, yeah. Seven. What does your pet's relationship mean to you? I don't really know how to answer that question. I don't know. I love him. And if anything were to happen to him, it's very soon. He's my little sidekick. He follows me everywhere, which I think is so cute. He, he just follows me. Like, if I get up, he gets up. If I walk down the stairs, he follows me down the stairs. Not necessarily right next to me. Most of the time it is, but, like, maybe a couple steps behind me. It's pretty cute. Eight. What is, are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? The, some of these questions are a little weird. Um... No, no. I mean, I like walking him. Well, that's a lie. I don't really like walking him. Um, I mean, I do, but it just kind of takes a lot of time. But I like snuggling with him. Come here, baby. Oh, okay. Yeah, he gets a little, he doesn't like people picking him up a lot either. Only when he's in the mood. I told you, he's weird with his little moods. Um, what is a favorite pastime? I don't know, just... Hanging out. Nine. What are some nicknames you call your pet? Okay, so me personally, I call him Kava, Pookie Bear. Don't ask me why. It's from this weird little song that me and my friends listen to too. Um, what else do I call you? Schnuckums? That's from another song. Um, and then my dad calls him Happy. Because I guess he gets super excited and he just is like, happy, happy, happy. Like, you know, he calls him happy. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's all. And he likes, he sleeps on the bed with me. And he also likes curling up in his own little bed. And the whole furry friend tag. I hope you guys liked this and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, come here, little schnuckums. Like this. Right?